The few cases of mid-air collisions in the 21st century have mostly happened because of miscommunications with air traffic control. High velocities and crowded skies, navigation errors, sudden changes of plans, or even lack of vision have also played a key role. On December 13, 2006, a series of errors almost led to the airborne collision of an Italian F-16 fighter and a commercial jet plane. Video and audio evidence taken from the pilot's F-16 aircraft revealed the close call that could have turned fatal, if not for the fighter plane's quick reaction. Mid-Air Collisions A mid-air collision, or MAC, is an aviation accident in which two or more aircraft get into incidental contact during flight. Although they rarely occur, they are not uncommon to aviators, especially those who lived through wars where aviation played a key role, such as World War II, the Korean War, or the Vietnam War. The first recorded collision between aircraft dates back to the 1910 Milan International Air Circuit. On October 3rd, French pilot René Thomas was flying the Antoinette 4, one of the earliest monoplane designs, during an aerial demonstration. It collided with a British Farman 3 biplane piloted by British Captain Bertram Dixon. Thomas hit the Farman in the rear, which led both aircraft to lose control and crash. Both pilots miraculously survived. Hundreds of incidents like this would occur in the following decades during air shows and demonstrations. Traffic Collision Avoidance Systems As commercial airlines flourished in the years following World War II, the need to coordinate air traffic control in crowded areas led to the creation of the International Civil Aviation Organization, among other similar entities. Their main objective was to establish a universal system so that pilots could easily coordinate with local air traffic control authorities. Having a standard way to communicate would prevent incidents and allow aviators to share best practices. Based on signals emitted from aircraft transponders, traffic collision avoidance systems alert pilots of a potential collision with a nearby plane. These systems work well, but haven't been able to completely prevent air collisions. The Italian F-16 The military aircraft involved in the December 2016 incident were two Italian F-16 fighter jets of the 37th Stormo unit based in Trapani, Italy. In 2001, the Italian military promoted a competition for a fighter that could replace the old F-104 starfighters in the Italian Air Force. The F-16 fighter jets were selected in a lease deal brokered by the United States. The Italian Air Force struck a deal with Lockheed Martin to purchase 45,000 flying hours through 2004 and 2010. The deal included a fleet of 30 F-16A Falcon UPs, three F-16B Block 10s, and a single F-16A ADF air defense fighter aircraft. The deal was named Peace Caesar and was signed on March 15, 2001. The first aircraft were delivered in June 2003 at the Trapani Birgi Air Base. Engineers modified them with logos of Italy and the Stormo unit. A series of emissions. On December 16, 2006, two F 16s from the 37th Stormo unit were returning to their home base in Trapani after conducting a military exercise. In the video, the Italian pilot is heard talking with Cyrano, a French airborne early warning and control system aircraft that cleared them to climb to flight level 360 for return to base. After thanking the French for the heads up, the pilots were handed over to Rome's military radar for further indications. The pilots repeatedly tried to establish contact with them to no avail. The F-16s continued to climb to flight level 360 when the wingman spotted something approaching from the opposite direction. <laughs> what appeared to be a commercial jet came into view on their left side. The jets kept approaching, and right before colliding, the F-16 pilot reacted and performed a quick escape maneuver that prevented both aircraft from a mid-air crash. Experts claim that multiple errors led to the accident. One explanation is that Rome Air Control thought the F-16s were at flight level 320 instead of 360, and also that one of the F-16's transponders was not working correctly. Others have said that the commercial jet's traffic collision avoidance system was not working correctly because it did not detect both aircraft and kept its path. Regardless, such a close call highlighted the importance of visual attentiveness, despite all the technological gadgets that facilitate flight today. The source of the leaked video is unknown. <laughs>